finally, the marathon is over, and I released my latest course on Udemy, Microsoft Power Automate Crash Course 2020. This course is the new release of my old course that I released more than a year ago called Microsoft Flow Crash Course. Since then, I learned a lot. I got lots of feedback from you guys, both on Udemy and YouTube. The course has more than 7,600 enrollments as of today. And still, it's the best seller when it comes to Microsoft Law on Udemy. Today, this course is ready, and it's much better. Of course, there are some stuff that I cut it out from the previous course, like working with web APIs or things like that, that I thought probably they are not necessary for the beginner's course. But at the same time, now I have a separate course dedicated to web APIs or things that I'm not covering in the new course anymore. At the same time, the new course has a lot deeper dive into the concepts and I have a lot more details when it comes to digging into even the basic concepts. So I'm actually moving a little bit from beginner's level to the intermediate and advanced level. So although the course starts for the beginner level, but you do not end the course as a beginner, there is a lot to learn in this course. In this course, I'm covering almost every topic that you need to know to start building a real-life workflow. Every chapter has a test, has a quiz to test your knowledge and see where you stand. So in case you miss something, you may want to go back and review the same topic again. And the best part, at the end of the course, I have a project. This project is not only a project to put everything together and work it out in a real life scenario. In every single technology, in every single trick, in every single action or trigger that I use, I'm actually referring to the chapter that I covered that topic in detail. So the last chapter is going to be fast paced that you should follow and if you cannot catch up, there is the referral to the chapter or the lecture that has that course. And I look for get items. Not get item, get items, because I don't have the ID yet. The site address is going to be the same address. It's going to be Power Automate Workshop. List name is going to be weekly purchase. I don't need any limitation, but the only thing that I need to add is filter query because I only want to pick the item that the status is pending. So I search for status equals pending. The only question is that are you sure the name of this field, the internal name of this field is status. So if that's the case, if you remember the trick, I click on add action right before that. Anyway, now let's start with the good news or let's finish with the good news. The good news is that all my students who have taken the Microsoft Flow Crash Course, all the enrollments in the past four months, I'm sending them a free voucher for the new course. And then, now and then, with every single one of my YouTube videos, I'll be releasing some vouchers, sometimes discount vouchers, and sometimes free vouchers. I cannot guarantee anything more than that because Udemy has limitations for the number of vouchers that I can release every month. Regardless, I would like to thank you. At the same time, I want to apologize to you because uh, my YouTube videos have been off and on just because I was too busy with the course and especially the last stretches to finish it with the quality that I want. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. The next video on Power Automate, Logic Apps, and SharePoint is coming very soon. 
Thank you for watching.